Welcome to Awakening House of Prayer. I'm so glad that you came out of your house and into the city. We're going to take our city in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to take our city. We've got to engage the enemy. We will engage the enemy, but Fort Lauderdale shall be saved. Amen. Let's begin to pray tonight. Uh, I'll pray. I'll start us off and then whoever would like to come up and pray, you're welcome to do that. So Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you because you are worthy of our thanks. There's no other God like you. No other God who's mighty to save even a city. No other God who's mighty to deliver even a city. No other God who's mighty to awaken us even our city. Father, we thank you that you are the prince of this city. Jesus, the king of kings, the prince of peace. You are seated above this city looking down upon us and you're smiling over us tonight we're so grateful that you are with us Emmanuel God with us we're so grateful that no matter how dark it gets we can rest assured that you are with us you'll never leave us you'll never forsake us even to the end of the age you will lead us and you will guide us God I'm asking you even now to give us restored to the purpose and the destiny that you have called her to we will contend to the end we will press through for a great awakening for a transforming revival in our city I believe it will be just as you told me it will be that Fort Lauderdale Broward County shall be transformed we give you praise and honor and glory tonight and we release a transformation mandate over this city in the churches in this city we say rise up and pray church of Fort Lauderdale rise up and make intercession church of Fort Lauderdale rise up and contend for the destiny of this county Broward father we thank you we will not grow weary in well-doing because in due season we're gonna see those prayer answers in due season the bowls in heaven that are collecting our prayers they're going to tip over the prayer answers they're coming there's a war in the heaven over this city the principalities and powers are raging oh God send angelic forces send the angel armies send back up as we pray let the angels hearken to the voice of your word through our mouths oh God oh God oh God ready us oh God oh God prepare us for the battle that is ahead we will fight for our city we will fight for the babies we will fight for clean government we will fight to shut down the smut shops and the gentlemen's clubs we will fight and we will fight and we will fight and we are on your side oh the captain of the host we pledge allegiance to you oh God the captain of the host the captain of angel armies we pledge allegiance to you oh God wake us up 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 we will not sleep and we will not slumber we will stand as watchmen on the wall and we will look out to see your glory coming oh lift up your heads oh ye gates that the king of glory may come in father we will worship you until you enthrone our praises we will worship you until the witchcraft falls off we will worship you until the weariness flees we will worship you we will praise you in advance of the breakthrough because we know it's coming oh Jesus we know it's coming oh Jesus you are the breaker and we follow your leadership holy one of Israel you are the breaker you go before us you know the way because you are the way you are the breaker 
breaker and you've got breakthrough in mind. You are the breaker and you've got the battle plan in your heart. Oh God, help us to tap into your heart. Help us, Lord, to press in to your battle plan. There's a plan. There's a purpose. There's a way. There's a truth that will break through the lies of the enemy. We purge the heavens with the blood of Jesus. We purge the heavens over Fort Lauderdale with the blood of Jesus. We purge the heavens. Oh, Jesus, help us, Lord. Raise up atmosphere shifters in this city. Raise up those who are not afraid of the wicked one. Raise up those, God, who are skillful with a sling and a stone, skillful with the sword of the Spirit, skillful with the knife and the dagger, skillful with the weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal. They're not carnal. They're not carnal, but they're mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. So we thank you, Lord, that we can run into your stronghold and be safe. We can run into your stronghold, your strong tower, and hear your voice, the still small voice from the captain of the host who has the battle plan in his hand. I just see the hand of the Lord. I just see the hand of the Lord holding a scroll. I said, I just saw the hand of the Lord holding a scroll. And on the inside of the scroll, when you unroll the scroll, there's a battle plan for the city. Oh, Jesus, help us to see what you have written. Help us to see the destiny of this city. Help us to see the redemptive purpose of this city. Oh, God, we don't want to be so demon focused that we we miss your purpose. We got to tap into the purpose. We got to tap into the purpose. That's why the principalities are raging. That's why the powers are raging. It's because of the purpose of the city. Father, we thank you today that you will unroll that scroll. You will give us the battle plan for the territory. And I decree in Jesus name that everywhere our foot treads. Send us, Lord, where you want us to go to prayer walk in the city. Send us, Lord, where you want us to go to make intercession for the city. Because everywhere our foot treads, you are giving it to us. This is our promised land. We're not here by accident. We're not here by accident. You didn't send us to this territory by accident. It's not too hard for us. Nothing's too hard for you. So nothing's too hard hard for us. Nothing's too hard for you. So nothing to this territory with a purpose, with a mandate, with an anointing, with an assignment, and we shall overcome, come hell or high water. We shall overcome, come plague or disease. We shall overcome because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, we submit ourselves to you on tonight. We submit ourselves to you on tonight. Oh God, if there be any wayward way in us, if the meditations of our heart do not please you, if the words of our mouth do not please you, if the thoughts do not please you, if the deeds of our hand do not please you, oh Holy Ghost, convict us. You're the convictor. You're the convincer. Oh, Holy Ghost. pure heart. We want to be those who have clean hands and a pure heart. Cleanse our hands, oh God. We don't want any blood on our hands. We don't want any blood on our hands. We will not remain silent. We don't want any blood on our hands. We will not remain prayerless. We don't want any blood on our hands, but we will stand in the watchtower to see what you will say to us, and we will proclaim it with a boldness, a Holy Ghost boldness, such a boldness that everybody around us says they've been with Jesus. I can just 
just tell because of the boldness they've been with Jesus. They might not have a college degree, but they've been with Jesus. They might not got a lot of money in their pocket, but they've been with Jesus. Oh God, we want to be marked by your spirit in such a way that demons tremble when we wake up in the morning. Oh Jesus, we want to be marked by love in such a way that lost souls are jealous for the love of God that is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Oh Jesus, we want to be marked by your spirit in such a way that we have a word of due season in our mouth. Oh, we can give an answer for the hope of our calling. We decree and declare that Jesus is the prince of this city. Oh, Jezebel, you don't scare us. Leviathan, you're going to have to back up because Jesus is Lord. He is the God that we serve. He is the God to whom we bow a knee. He is the one whose name is higher than every name. It's more powerful than any name. That is the name that you've given us. We, but You betrothed us. We are your bride and we have the right to use your name because of the intimate relationship that we've cultivated with you. We say you are our king. And this territory, it belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. And we will redig the wells of revival. 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 We will not let those roots run dry well we will water them with our prayers we will dig without ceasing we will pray without ceasing we will war without ceasing and we will overcome we overcome by the blood of the lamb we overcome by the blood of the lamb we thank you for the blood we thank you for the blood we thank you for the blood we overcome by the blood of the lamb that causes demons to tremble and causes demons to flee. They're no match for the blood. So we plead the blood of Jesus against the assignment against this region. We, we overcome by the word of our testimony. We overcome by the word of our testimony. We overcome by the word of our testimony. We say that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh, we say that no weapon formed against our families shall prosper. Oh, we say that no weapon formed against our finances shall prosper. Come on now. We say that no weapon formed against our businesses shall prosper. No weapon formed against our bodies shall prosper in the name of Jesus. But every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. We condemn those lying tongues, those wagging tongues. And let me just speak a word to the monitoring spirits. Oh, let me just talk right now to those monitoring spirits those spirits that want to peep and chirp and mutter they want to find out what we're doing to report it to a demonic network so they can derail the plans and purposes for God in our lives so that we are too tired to pray so that we are too much warfare to pray oh I speak to those monitoring spirits and I bind you I blind you in the name of Jesus you spirits that chirp and mutter you peeping Tom spirits we we poke your eyes out in Jesus name we say no longer will you look upon us and report back what we're doing and what we're saying Jesus we thank you for the watch your angels we thank you Lord because we fear your name so you and you have sent angels to encamp around us to protect us the angel armies are on our side only one third of the angels came out of heaven were cast out of heaven in the insurrection two thirds are on our side so we cast you out of our city devil we cast you out of our city pornography we cast you out of our city abortion in Jesus name in the name of Jesus we cast out perversion from our city in the name of Jesus we cast out corruption from our city in the name of Jesus we command you to go 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 Jesus, Jesus.
break it. And I break every word curse spoken over our city. In Jesus name. I break every word curse spoken over our city. In Jesus name. And Father we bless this city. We bless our city. Forgive us, Lord, for talking about all the problems all the time, for talking about all the issues all the time. We bless this city. We bless your name and we bless this city. We bless the mayor and we bless the governor of this state and we bless every city council member and we bless everybody. We bless all those in authority. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them. We bless and curse not. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them. We thank you, Lord. We bless them. We release the blessing of God on this city. God, unify your church. Unify your church. Unify your church in the name of Jesus. Let the praying church arise in South Florida to push back the darkness that has encroached upon our territory for far too long. We break that control spirit that's left over in the atmosphere from the shepherding movement. We break the powers of that control in the churches of South Florida in Jesus name. We thank you Lord. King of glory, come on in. King of glory, come on in. King of glory, come on in. King of glory, we welcome your presence. King of glory, you are the king of glory. You are the king of glory. Let your glory arise in this place. Let your glory arise in this city. Let your glory arise in our hearts. We lift up our heads as gatekeepers. We lift up our heads as gatekeepers. We lift up our heads as gatekeepers and we open wide. We fling wide open the gates of this city. And we say, Lord, invade Fort Lauderdale with your presence. Invade Fort Lauderdale with your glory. Invade Fort Lauderdale with your healing power. Invade Fort Lauderdale with your delivering power. Invade Fort Lauderdale with evangelists who can go out and reach the lost for your glory. In Jesus' name, raise up, raise them 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 up. No more excuses. No more excuses. No more. We lay our excuses at the altar. We lay them down. We lay our lives down. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives even to the death. We'll lay our lives down for you, God. We'll lay them down in prayer, God. We'll lay them down for preaching the gospel, God. We'll lay them down one for another God we will be selfless preferring others honoring your holy name in all that we do I thank you Lord for what you're doing in this city because the devil's on the loose but he's about to be a devil on the run an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated so root out the rebellious spirits God break the powers of witchcraft come break in with light oh God in Jesus name amen and amen in the blindness that comes through the bitterness of soul you're teaching me adore you we thank you for your presence here tonight we bless your name we adore you lord we worship and adore you we give you all honor and glory god thank you father for your presence here tonight for the power of agreement for everyone that has come out tonight and has joined us online and has come into agreement with us lord we bless this house of prayer we thank you for it we thank you lord that its doors are open for anyone that has thirsty hungry broken ill 
Thank you, Father, for the anointing and the healing in this house, for the deliverance, for everything that you set upon the shoulders of this woman that leads us, Lord. Bless her. Bless everything that she puts her hand to. Bless her coming and going. Make her the head and not the tail. Surround her with angels of protection. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus. We pray for the pastors, Lord. We pray for the prophet of the house and every member. We thank you, Lord, for all those that come out in agreement and join every time that we're here, Lord. Answering your call. Make us sensible, Lord, that when we, you, that small ink that you, inkling that you touch us and ask us to come in agreement with you, interceding not just for this city, for this nation, for the ill, for the sick, for the broken, for the addicted, for anyone, Lord. Thank you. Thank you that all of those that respond. Thank you for every leader, Lord, that you have raised up in the prayer hubs. I bless every one of them. I ask you, Lord, to bless them and strengthen them mightily, Father, to raise up more leaders so that we can have those bells and hubs that you have put in her heart, Lord. Every nation represented in this map, let it be a, a burning place for your Holy Spirit, Lord, to raise up intercessors, to intercede for their, their cities, for the youth, for the government, for the schools, for everything that you put in our hearts, Father. I ask you, Lord, raise them up. Raise them up to answer your call, Lord. Those that have answered the call already, bless them and strengthen them. But those who have yet to answer the call, give them dreams, visions, and desire to stand on the wall and answer your call, Lord. To be the one standing in the gap for their cities and their nations, for their youth people, for anyone in their city, Lord, for the hospitals, Father. As you put in my heart this week to pray walk around the hospitals, Lord, declaring healing for everyone in the hospitals, Lord, for declaring strength and witty inventions for the doctors, Father. We ask you, Lord, to give We thank you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus to, Lord, to end the abortion in this nation, to turn the eyes of the people towards you, Lord, so that the, we all can be in agreement and unity with the sacrifice of your son being enough for us to stand together, Lord, not for agreeing in, in any uh, religion, uh, political party or anything, but just to stand in agreement, Lord, that your son's sacrifice was enough that you gave us your only son so that those of us who believe would be saved. Father, raise up intercessors, cleanse the prophetic movement. I ask you, Father, to bless this nation. To I plead the blood of Jesus from north to south and east to west, Lord, over the United States, over its borders. We bless the presidents, the vice president, everyone in Congress, the Senate, everyone in government, Lord. Let your children take up the roles of leadership in the mountains of influence. Let us have a Christian presence in every area, uh, in every mountain of influence. Let prayer return to schools, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for not bringing, for not fighting, Lord, when they took the prayers out of school. We ask you, Father, to raise up Christian youth groups in every school in America, to bring the word into back into the classroom, to bring the word back into the dining room tables at homes, Lord. We ask you, Father, to raise up the priest of the homes, to cleanse every house, Lord, to bless every family and restore the roles just as you created them to be, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. We pray for COVID patients, Father. We, add, we decree and declare healing over them. We decree and declare miracle signs and wonders on this city, on this city, on this state, on the streets of this nation, Lord. Cover us with a mantle of peace, with a mantle of justice. I intercede, Lord, for the armed members, the armed forces, and the members of military all over the world, not just in, inside this nation, but every U.S. soil abroad. I ask you, Lord, to protect them. I plead the blood of Jesus over the young men and women serving this nation anywhere in the world, Father. Protect them, keep them under the shadow of your wings. I thank you, Father, for the opportunity to come and worship here tonight, for the opportunity to come in agreement in prayer, Lord. We pray everything in your son's holy name. Amen. For 
even children know when to dance and even children know when to lament Hararararia kola masatalia Letereririya kolororororo sotororararia ki Haleya kola masatararariria Precious Holy Spirit we thank you that you are in this place We ask that you would settle upon us we ask that you would pray through us we ask that you would use us for your glory tonight mighty God And Father as we lock shields tonight we ask lord god almighty that you would give ear to our prayer and consider our meditation father god we lift up the situation not only in the nation of america but the nations of the world father god all of these unborn babies today i just saw hundreds and thousands and millions of babies running around in heaven that didn't get an opportunity to live their life. And Father God, we're asking. We're asking Lord for a mighty shift in this direction, Lord, that the nations in the world will begin to realize that this is murder. That you will no longer tolerate it, that you haven't tolerated it. Father God, we're asking that you would begin to change governments and nations of the world, God, to recognize this for what it is. It's not a money-making scheme, Lord. It's not a money-making thing, Lord. These are lives that you've created and you've made. We ask, Lord, that you would give dreams and visions to the doctors, to the nurses, to those who are assisting God that they will see and know that you would open their eyes that you would lift up the blinders from them father in the name of Jesus we ask lord that you would overturn roe versus wade in this nation we ask lord god almighty that you would raise up counselors that you would raise up people to minister to young women, old women, people who are anointed by you, Lord God Almighty. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that the tide would turn on the abortion issue, not just in this nation, but the nations of the world, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it, Father. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will brood over Florida, Lord, over Davie and Fort Lauderdale and Miramar and Darrell, Lord. They, it, the Holy Spirit will begin to brood over these areas, God. We ask that the revival will begin in Florida, Lord. We've heard it, but we want to see it, Father. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would settle upon this place, that you would begin to change hearts and lives and minds by your spirit. We ask that you would speak to them in their cars and in their bedrooms and on their jobs. We ask that the Holy Spirit would bring conviction like we've never seen before. We ask, Lord God Almighty, that there would be some suddenlies. We ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that there would be a shift in the atmosphere, Lord. A shift over Florida, a shift over the nations of the world, that you would show yourself mighty and strong, God, that you will show the intercessors how to pray and what to pray, God, that your hand may be able to move. So, Father, we thank you for what you're doing. Lord, we ask and we continue to ask for a shift, for a change, for a reversal of this coronavirus, Lord God Almighty. We ask, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, that the tide would turn. We ask, Lord, that the human body will begin to stand up against it, resist it, rebuke it, overturn it. We ask, God, that you would strengthen the immune systems, that coronavirus would not have the effect that it's had. 
We ask that it would be weakened, Lord God Almighty. We ask that it would shrivel up and die in Jesus' name. We ask that in the next couple months, we will see that tide so turn that people will begin to come out of their houses, that they will begin to go to church, that the fear will lift off of these nations, Lord God Almighty. We take a authority over the fear that's been hovering round about the nations of the world, even this city, even this state, even America, Lord God Almighty. Your word says we have authority and we take authority in the name of Jesus. We bind it and expel it. We don't permit it. We forbid it to continue to operate in this nation and the nations of the world, God. Let the intercessors lock shields like a mighty army and push back this virus in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you're not a man that you should lie, that you watch over your word to perform it. And Lord God Almighty, we decree and declare, Lord, that our economies, the economies over the world, Lord, that they are rising, that this this corona thing will not take us out and take us down. We declare and decree that our economy is rising up even now, that this has created jobs, Lord. Father God, that you're making a way out of nowhere, that your people needs will be met, that their financial needs will be met. Lord, that they will not rely on the government, but they will rely on the mighty God who's created them. <laughs> Father, I thank you that your ear is not too short, that your ear is not closed, that you're listening to us. Father, there are those, Lord, that need a financial breakthrough, an instant breakthrough, Lord. We ask that you would make a way out of nowhere. We ask in the name of Jesus. We ask, Lord God Almighty, those that are in a hospital, Lord, straining to breathe, Lord. We ask that you would walk through the hospital rooms, Lord, that you would give them the ability to breathe, that some would even see you and report it, that it would be on the headlines in the news, Father. We ask in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you would raise up those, Lord God Almighty, a lot of people with pneumonia, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus that your healing virtue would flow in the name of Jesus. Father God, M uh, organization, Lord, Father God, you know the root of this organization, Father. If it is not meant for good, if it's not helping people, if it's not progressing people, Lord, if it doesn't stand for what you stand for, Lord, I ask that you would dismantle it. Father God, that it will not continue to bring division in the nation, Lord. Father, you put it on my heart this morning to pray specifically for that. So, Father, we're inviting you into that organization. We ask that your will will be done, that your kingdom will come in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask, we ask that you would begin to bring your church back together, Father. Those that have scattered, those that have been weakened, those that are confused, God, we ask that you would visit them. We ask that they would sense your presence, that they would hear your voice, that they would know what to do next. And as the young lady reminded us on Wednesday, Lord, the church is yours. The people are yours. The money is yours, oh God. So remind the pastors, Lord God Almighty, that you are with them, that you are for them, that you are not against them. That the gifts and callings are not without repentance, Lord God Almighty. We ask that you would strengthen them, Lord. We ask that you would encourage them, God. We ask that as they open your word, your word would leap off the pages into their spirit and their heart and their mind. We ask that in their quiet times, God, you would give them clear direction. We ask that you would cause the churches and the nations of the world to begin to huddle, to begin to come together, to begin to strategize because it's about souls. So, Father God, we ask that you would give us up. 
a passion and a burning desire for souls, Lord God Almighty. Father God, put in us what we do not have within ourselves. Give us the unction and the desire to pray, to intercede, to call upon your name, to hear what you're saying, Lord God Almighty, and to obey swiftly and quickly. I too, Lord, ask that you would bless the armed forces, that you'd bless the police department, the fire department, the first responders, those in federal prison, Lord. I ask that you would continue to protect them. I ask, Lord, that you would protect their lives and their families, Lord. I ask, Lord, that they would be a light in darkness, Lord, that people would not see them as the enemy, Lord. I ask that you would give them favor, God, because you can give supernatural favor. So, Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus, and Lord, I thank you. I thank you for hearing, for listening. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodness towards us. And I bless you, Father. I honor you, mighty God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, <laughs> Lord, I ask that you would continue to be in this place, in this house, God. We thank you for opening it for us. We thank you that your presence is continuously, constantly here. Lord, we ask that you would continue to anoint Apostle Jennifer and use her for your glory. Give her strategies. Give her plans, Lord. Order her steps, Lord God Almighty. Let her hear your voice clearer than she's ever heard it before. Father God, we pray for the leaders in this church that you would continue to use them for your glory, that you would strengthen them, Lord, that they would have a residue of your presence on them, Father. I ask, Lord, for every single person that will walk through the door, that you would meet the needs of their hearts, God, for you alone know the desires of men's heart. We ask that you would continue to meet us on Sunday and Monday and Wednesday and Friday. We ask, Almighty God, that you would begin to move in such a way, God, that people will be instantly healed. Father God, that they would be worshiping and get filled with your Holy Spirit. Father God, we invite you to do a new thing, a permanent thing. We invite your glory in a way that we've never sensed or felt it before. We invite you, Lord God Almighty. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Did you dance? And I sang the wedding song over you. Were you romanced? And I played the funeral song. Did you lament? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that we can gather here today, Father, that we can come in your name, Father, that we can come together, Lord, just like your disciples did, Father, in the beginning, Lord. Father, we thank you. that we glorify your holy name, Lord, that we give you honor and praise and glory. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we glorify your holy name, Father, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for our state, God. We lift up the, the state of Florida before you, Lord. We thank you for our state, Father, and we lift it up before you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you open the floodgates of heaven, God, and that you fill the wells, Father, of revival in our state, God. We thank you, Father, that your spirit stirs up father people that will go out lord jesus they will preach your gospel lord they will lay the hands on the sick father they will they will cast out demons lord we thank you father that your gospel will go forth lord and that your gospel will be preached father we thank you lord for the unborn father we thank you that lord jesus you protect them lord that they are with you father from the beginning of time lord that you are their shield father we thank you that there's a 
pla- a special place for them in heaven, God. We thank you, Father, that you protect the unborn, Lord, that you change the minds of the moms, Lord, of the parents, Father, when they see themselves in that unwanted pregnancy, Lord, that you may speak to them, Father, in their dreams, Lord, that you may speak through them through visions, Father, that they may hear your audible voice, Father, that they may hear, Father, that that is a life that they are bringing forth, Lord, that is a life that's made in your image, God. Father, we thank you for the protection around the unborn, Lord. Father, we glorify your holy name, Lord, and we thank you for every church leader, Father, for every apostle, Father, for every prophet, Lord, for every pastor, Father, for every evangelist, Lord, for every teacher. We thank you, Father, for every leader, and we ask you, Lord, we ask you, Father, to strengthen them, Lord, in the inner man, God, that they, you may give them the strength and the wisdom and the knowledge that they need in these times, Lord, to lead your flock, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you will bring people from the north and from the east and from the south and from the west, Lord. People that will be hungry for you and thirsty for you, Jesus, that will want to come and hear, Father, the solution, Father, to the issues that they are going through, Lord. Father, that you are the solution, Father, that you are the hope of glory, God, that they will hear your word, Father, that their lives will be changed, that the hearts will be changed, Father, that their souls will be awakened, Father, that you will awaken them from their sleep, Lord, and that they will come to know you, Father, they will confess you, Lord, repent and confess you, Father, and come to know you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you sent us forth, Lord, in every sphere of influence, Father, that we, where you sent us, Lord, whatever mountain it is, Father, that we are, Lord Jesus, that we are an influence, Lord. Father, that we carry your glory, Father, that we will be, Lord Jesus, that we will speak to others about you, Father, that they will, we will speak about your glory, God, that we will speak about your, 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 the changing of our hearts, God, what you do in our lives, Lord, how you transform, Father. Father, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for what you are doing, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for every soul that enters this house, Father. We thank you, Father, that they will be touched by the manifestation of your glory, by your mighty presence, God, that they will not be the same, Lord, that they will be transformed and changed, Lord, that you will touch them in a Thank you, Lord, that your breaking anointing, Father, breaks the ceiling, the iron ceiling, Father, upon our state, God. We thank you, Father, and we bind and we rebuke all the occult, all the witchcraft, all the witchcraft in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that every witchcraft stored is closed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that every store, Father, that operates, Lord, in things that are not of you, Father, every smut shop, Lord, is closed, Father. Lord, that there are that the that the place will be shut down father that it will be shut down in the name of Jesus that it will have a sign lord that was said out of business father we thank you lord that we go up we go about your business god that we go about your business lord that we do what you what you show us god we thank you father that we go about the father's business lord that we occupy lord that we occupy ourselves lord in doing your business god Father, we thank you, Lord, that you you move us forth, Lord, that you move us, Father, that we continue, Lord Jesus, to move forward, God, that we continue to plow, Father, that we continue, Lord Jesus, to move forward in your name, that we continue to possess the gates of hell, that every gate of hell shall be trampled upon, Lord. We thank you that you have given us the power and the authority over every serpent, over every scorpion, God. Father, we thank you, Lord, that the enemy is under our feet, that it is a footstool under our feet, that you prepare a table before us, Lord, in front of our enemies, God. We thank you that you laugh for he- from heaven, God. We thank you, Father, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that every tongue that raises up against us shall cleave to the roof of their mouth. Father, we thank you that we are, we are shielded by you, Father, that there is a supernatural shield around us, God, that it is, that nothing can penetrate it, Father, that your holy fire, Lord Jesus, burns up everything that tries to get near us, God. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, that we are mighty and great in you, Lord, that we are powerful, Lord Jesus, that we are mighty in you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you are 
are Jehovah Gabor, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you are the God of might, Father, that you, Lord Jesus, that you have not lost the battle, God, that we are overcomers, God, that we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and, and, the, and our testimony. Father, we thank you, Father. We honor you, Lord, and we glorify you, and we thank you for this house, and we lift the apostle before you, Lord. And we thank you, Father, that everything she touches, Father, prospers. We thank you, Lord, that you give her witty ideas and inventions, God. We thank you for what you're doing in this house, Father. We Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless the pastors, Lord. We bless every leader, Father, every person that serves, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you for the servant leaders that, are, that we have in this house, God. We honor you, Lord, and we glorify you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you're stirring up, Father, the gifts in each and every saint, Lord, that you're stirring it up, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the manifestation of your glory and for your fire, Lord. Lord, and we thank you that you saturate us with your fire, Lord, with your passion, God. Father, we thank you that we honor you, Lord. We lift up the cross of Jesus and we lift up your name because your name is above all name. And every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And we thank you for the power of the blood and we thank you for the power of your name. And we thank you, Father, for the power of the word of God. And we thank you, Lord, that it is a sword in our mouths. Father, we thank you, Father, for the sword that's in our mouth, Father, that it cuts through the spirit realm, Father. We thank you, Lord, that the enemy flees. Father, we thank you, Lord, that the enemy flees, Lord. Father, we thank you that the enemy falls backwards in the name of Jesus and has to flee seven times, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, that we take from the enemy everything that it has stolen everything that he has stolen and we thank you lord that you will give us father and that you multiply and that you multiply and multiply and multiply because that's who you are you are good all the time jesus and we thank you lord for every prayer hub we thank you father that they continue lord jesus to arise father that every person lord answers the call to prayer god that every person lord jesus intercedes father and we thank you lord that you are our chief intercessor that you intercede for us day and night father we thank you lord we thank you father we thank you jesus that we are more than conquerors through you who loves us god and we thank you lord that we love you because you first loved us thank you father for your spirit thank you for the indwelling of your holy spirit thank you that your spirit moves in a mighty way as you want as you please father in this house lord we honor you lord and we glorify you in jesus name We thank you, Father, that we can come together, Lord, with our brothers and sisters in agreement, Lord. We lock shields tonight, Father, because you are worthy, Lord, and you are worthy to be praised. And your kingdom come, Lord, let it be done as it is in heaven, Father. We repent, Lord, on behalf of our nation, Father, on behalf of the things that are an abomination to you, Father. We repent, Lord, for our pride, for the abortions, for things that you have told us to stand for and we haven't done so father we thank you that you are good lord and that you give us the ability to come together in agreement father tonight i just lift up to you the 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 leaders lord the spiritual leaders in this country father we pray for them lord that they have had a, a difficult season father we decree and declare lord that the gates of hell should not prevail against your church lord we pray father for this operation purge that we're going to be going on we pray for Fort Lauderdale, Lord, that your blood may cover this entire city, Father, that you may go before us and that you prepare a way, Lord, because you are the way maker, Father. You are Jehovah Perizim, Lord. You go before us and you are the breaker. And you have the plans, Lord. You have the blueprints, Lord. You know exactly what we need to do. 
you know, exactly where we need to go and how we need to pray, Father. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you give us a direction of where to go, Lord, and where to set our feet. You said everywhere that you set our feet, Lord, that that belongs to us. And we take back Fort Lauderdale, Lord. We take it back in the name of Jesus, and we come against all the principalities, Lord, and for all the spirits that have been hovering over this um, county, Father. We bring it up to you, Lord, for you are the only one that knows exactly what to do, Jesus. We stand in the gap, Lord. We pray for the intercessory and the prophetic movement, Lord. We pray for, but there may not be any division, Father. They can come together and pray in agreement that we may be able to declare a thing, Father, and let it be established. Give us the right words, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you are good, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit, I thank you that you're here with us, Lord, and that you dwell within us, Father. I thank you that you've kept us this week, God, that you've strengthened us, Lord. Father, I pray that you would help us to remember to put on our armor, God, as we're entering into this season of warfare, God. I thank you that it is your desire to increase us in this season, Father God. I pray that we would stand on our post boldly, God, and that you would show us what effective prayers to pray, Father God that you would show us what weapons to use, Lord. I ask you to sharpen our weapons, God, the ones that have grown dull during battle, Father God. I ask you to strengthen our minds, God. Renew our minds and cleanse our spirits, Father God. I pray that we would give Satan no room, Father God, that we would be ready for him, God, that we would stand on the offense in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that as we wake up in the morning that you would give us the prayers to pray to resist the enemy in Jesus' name. That we wouldn't delay, God. That we wouldn't slumber, Father God. That we wouldn't find ourselves heaped in a pit, Father God, because Satan is coming after us, God. That we would allow him to fall in that pit, God. That we would wake up offensively, God. That we would already have pushed him back early in the morning in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that we will wake up early and seek your face, God. Seek your will for our lives, Father God, for our day, God. That we would invite you in, Lord. I thank you, God, that you are using us as warriors, Father God. I pray that we would grow in authority in this season, God, that we would see how you see us, God. That we would see the authority and the power that we walk in, Father God. I pray that you would give us the grace, God, as we are increasing, Father God, in the power that you have for us, Lord. That our words will hold more authority, Father God. That we would be able to slay more demons with our sword, Father God. That our prayers would shoot forth effectively, Father God. That we would be able to pray just a few times and see the enemy defeated in Jesus' name. I thank you that he is already defeated in Jesus' name. I pray that you would give us the sermon to know what battle to fight, God. When to stand, Father God. When to praise, Lord. Show us what you need us to do, Father God. Because the victory is already ours in Jesus' name. I thank you that we are victorious and that we do sit in heavenly places, Father. But we not forget where we are seated, Father God, that we are both heavenly and earthly in Jesus' name. I pray that we would keep our eyes focused on the heavenly things, that we would store our treasures there where they will not rust or rot in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you would be with us as we go out tomorrow, Father God, that you would give us strategy, Father God. I just right now come against every demonic attack that wants to come against us, and I resist you and say no in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that your angels are going forth with us as we go out to battle for you, God, that we are taking back our city. We are taking back your territory, Father God. I thank you that we are bringing safety, God, that we are aligning that area with heaven in Jesus' name. I thank you that no children will be snatched, no women, Father God, that there will be no sexual immorality on that area, in that area, in 
Jesus' name. I thank you that it's already ours and it's already shut down in Jesus' name. I pray that you would give us the prayers to pray to see it move, that it would be moved quickly, God. Help us to pray effectively, God. We do not want to pray amiss. We do not want to waste our time, Father God. Help us to redeem time in this season, God. We will not be time racers, God. We don't want to be in prayer for hours and seeing nothing shift. Help us to shift this season, Father God. Give us the eyes to see. I pray that you will melt away all of the scales on our eyes, God. The ears, God. The ears of the deaf, God. Awaken our ears to hear you, Father God. We want to pray what you're telling us to pray, Father God. We do away with our agendas, God. Even for tomorrow, we say no to our agendas, God. We are in line with what you want, Father God. In line with your timing. In line to be heavenly minded father god help us to not be afraid i say no to fear now i pray that boldness the holy boldness will rise up in us god and i pray that you would help us to be stealthy father god that we would be wise as we go forth god that we wouldn't be foolish father god we're going forth in jesus name i pray that we would bring your name glory god we die to ourselves father god we want to bring you all the glory and honor father god i thank you god you already going forth into that area god we just plead the blood of Jesus around about that place now, Father. We pray that your presence is already there. I thank you that we're carrying your presence, God, that as we leave that place, your presence stays, God. God, I ask even now, God, that you would give us revelation and downloads for tomorrow, Father God, as we go out in prayer walk, God. We're taking back that land. We're speaking life. We're speaking your spirit into that place, God. Your spirit into this city, Father. I thank you that there is a redemptive gift for this city. I pray that we would see this city through your eyes, God. That we would hear the cry of your people, Father God, who are heavy burdened, who have this oppression over them, Father God. I pray that they would see us as light, God as the light bearers, as hope, God, because you are within us, Father God. Help us to stand and be an answer, to be a solution to someone's problem, Father God. Give us eyes to see your people because we hold the answer, Lord. I pray that we would intercede for your people, Father God, that we would lie down our lives in intercession, God, that we wouldn't see it as a burden, Father God. I pray that you would purify us, God, that you would cleanse us before we go out, Father God. I thank you, Jesus, for what you desire to do in and through us, God. That you are using us to shift and transform our city, God. We will see the transformation that you want to see in our city, God. And we will not be delayed in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that we are rising up in this season against the enemy. That we will not be oppressed by this Jezebelic spirit in Jesus' name. That we rise above it in Jesus' name. We say no to witchcraft and we refuse it. Get out of our atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, that your spirit is what leads us. I pray that every spirit of python be bound in this season, Father God, that we would know that spirit, Father God, that we would say no to that spirit, that we would resist it, God, that we would only say yes to your spirit, Father. I pray that we would be more sensitive to your spirit, God, and that when we know, when the demonic comes, we would know what it is, God, and you would give us a victory and a strategy over it in Jesus' name. Amen.
e corro carrequindo rossi carrequindo rossi carrequinta ha e corro carrequindo rossi carrequindo rossi carrequinta ha e le le corro carrequindo rossi carrequindo rossi carrequinta ha rati e carrequindo rossi carrequindo rossi carrequinta ha father we bless you tonight e corro si carrequinta ha we give you glory we give you honor e corro si carrequinta ha carrequindo rossi ta ha because you're worthy e corro si carrequinta ha carrequinta ha e le le corro we love you hey korosi karakinga we adore you hey korosi karakinta ha and father we're thankful tonight hey korosi karakinta ha thankful lord god for your love hey korosi thankful for your son thank you for holy spirit hey korosi karakinta harakinta ha we thank you lord god that you are our guide that you harakinga korosi karakinta ha by your spirit that you guide us that you teach us lord god hey korosi karakinta rosi karakinta ha and we thank you that you are preparing us lord god preparing us for tomorrow preparing us e corro si cara quinta ha for the work that you are calling us to do in this season e corro cara quinta si cara quinta ha we thank you that you're dealing with your body your church lord god e corro si cara quinta and you're calling us to mature lord god you're calling us to be the bride of christ you're calling us to be without spot or wrinkle father e corro cara quinta si cara quinta ha cara quinta ha we thank you, Lord God, that we're lining up to your will. E corosi cara quinta hara quinta ha. That we're bearing fruit. E corosi cara quinta hara quinta ha. That we walk in love and humility, Father. E corosi cara quinta hara quinta ha. Because of you, because of your e cor your life in us. E corosi your spirit. E corosi cara quinta ha. E le le corro cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. We thank you, Lord God, and we cry out for the persecuted church. We cry out for those, Lord God, that he korosikaraki cannot come together, Lord God. He korosika those he korosikara kinta hara kinta ha that have to go underground, Lord God. Those that are being he korosikara kinta ha he korosika harassed and tormented, Lord God. We cry out, Lord God, that you would strengthen them, Lord God. He korosikara kinta hara kinta ha. We cry out that you would protect them, Lord God. We cry out, Lord. God, that they that they would have joy in the midst of the trials, Father. We thank you, Lord God. We cry out, Lord God, that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding would overtake them, Father. E corro cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. E le le corro si cara quinta hara quinta ha. E corro si cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. Father, we pray that every need be met. For them, every need be met according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, and that they would would not want anything, Lord God. We pray for church leaders, Lord God. We pray for those hey corro si cara quinta ha that have been hey corro under stress because of the last few months, Father. Hey corro si cara quinta ha cara quinta ha. El hey cara quinta corro si dealing with laws, Lord God, that are working against them. Dealing with hey corro si cara quinta ha fear among the people. Dealing with hey corro si cara quinta ha lack because people are not coming to church like they used to. Father, we pray for them that they would be encouraged, Lord God, that they would encourage themselves within the Lord. That they would be like David, Father. E corro si cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. We pray, Father. E corro si cara quinta ha. That you would do a work in them. That you would do a work. E corro si cara through them, Lord God. That their faith with God be strengthened, Lord God. E corro cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. E le le corro si cara quinta ha. That they would hear your voice stronger than they've ever had before, Lord God. E corro si cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. That they would know. What to do in this season? That the spirit that was on the children of Issachar would be upon them, Lord God. E corro cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha. Father, we give you glory. E corro si cara quinta, and we give you honor tonight, Father. E corro si cara quinta ha. We lift up the youth, Father. E cara quinta rosi cara quinta ha cara quinta ha. And we pray, Father, in this season, Lord God, that you would raise up young people, that you would raise up youth, Lord God. 
youth, hey, God, that are full of the word, hey, God, that you would fill them with your word, that you would send them to places, Lord God, where they're being taught, where they're being trained, Lord God, that they're being prepared, hey, God, to evangelize hey, God, their schools, to evangelize their colleges and universities, to evangelize hey, God, even in their daycares, Lord, hey, God, that they'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover. That they will meditate on scripture. And not on the songs of this world, but on scripture. Father, we bless you tonight. We pray for the youth. We pray for the children, Father. We pray for those that are being abused sexually in their homes, Lord God. We pray, hey, that those that are being tormented emotionally, Lord God, we pray for those hey, that are being hey, tormented by demonic forces, Lord God, because they play games and read books hey, that have opened up doors. Hey, and we pray, God, for their deliverance. We pray, God, that you set them free. We pray, God, that they will be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Father, we pray, Lord God, for the babes, Lord God, for the babies, Lord God. For the unborn. We cry out tonight for the unborn. Father, let your will be done in this nation. That laws line up with your truth. That our laws will line up with your will. That we will stop killing the unborn. Father, we cry out. And you would deal with the mothers, Lord God. Deal with their hearts, Lord God. Don't let them believe the lie that Hekorosi is not really a baby. But show them, God. Show them, Father, in dreams. Show them in visions, the faces, the little faces, the hands, Lord God. Show him, Father, I pray that the fear of the Lord will come upon these women, Lord God. The fear of the Lord, would come upon them, Lord God. That they would resist the enemy, that they would resist every plan of the devil. Give them a heart for the unborn, a heart for their child, Lord God. A heart. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, that you have plans for even the babies, Lord God. You have plans for their lives. We repent as a nation, Lord God. We repent as the body of Christ. For allowing this. In this nation. We pray, Lord God, for the legislators, the congressmen, the congresswomen, Lord God. The executive branch, Lord God. The president, the vice president, Lord God. We pray, God, that you said the heart of the king is in your hand. You can turn it whatever way you want. So we ask that you turn their hearts. That you begin to deal with hearts, Lord God. Father, deal with their hearts. Turn their hearts toward your will. Turn their hearts their hearts towards your word. Give them supernatural experiences that would change their agenda. Their agendas will line up with your agenda, Father. Father, we just thank you. We thank you that we know that you know what you're doing. We know, hey, that you have a plan. 
We know he korosika rekinda ha rekinda ha. That you are God he korosika rekinda already have called he korosika this nation into revival. So we pray and we set ourselves in agreement that revival is coming to this nation. That revival is coming to South Florida. That revival is coming to this state. Like revival fires would burn across this state and across this nation, Lord God. We pray, God, a spirit of repentance. Hey, korosika rekinda ha. Across this nation, people would repent. People would cry out, Lord God. Hey, korosika rekinda. Churches would change, Lord God. That God, that they would, people would cry between the porch and the altars, Lord God. Hey, korosika rekinda ha. That they would cry out, Lord God. Cry out. Hey, korosika rekinda ha. Cry out in it with the spirit of repentance, Lord God. Hey, korosika rekinda ha, rekinda ha. That your will could be done. Hey, korosika rekinda. That your kingdom would come, Lord God. Hey, korosika rekinda ha, rekinda rosika rekinda ha. Hey, korosika rekinda ha. That we would see, Lord God, change. That we would see deliverance, Lord God. That we would see, hey, korosika rekinda ha, rekinda ha, rekinda ha. Holiness and purity, Lord God. In our churches, in the body of Christ, and in this nation. And we pray these things in Jesus, Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because he has anointed me to preach good news, to take away all of your sorrow and your mourning. 